Hello, everyone. My name is John Bassett, Chief Information Security Officer for GSI. If you're watching this video, it's likely that you're an everyday user of some sort of a computer system, desktop, smartphone, tablet, etc. As a result, you and I are targets of cyber criminals from the first swipe in the morning when you get up to the moment that you charge your device at night. Since the two most common reasons people use computer systems are to surf the web and check email, those two methods are therefore the primary tools that you need to pay close attention if you're trying to avoid falling into a cyber criminal scam or trap. Many employees of companies assume that their IT departments are responsible for protecting everyone. Although they indeed need to provide the tools to reduce the number of cyber attacks, it's impossible for them to prevent 100% of them. The cyber threats are creative and they're designed to penetrate sophisticated tools. Those threats are also designed to trick you as a user and me. Fortunately, there are many things you could do as an end user, and here are six of some of the most effective. Make sure that all the assignments that you receive in security are relevant and that you take them. Most of this training is short, five minute videos designed to educate you on spotting nefarious attacks and emails, phone calls and text message. Number two, be careful if you click a link on an email or open an attachment. While many companies are now blocking attachments and links from outside the organization, you're still the most important line in defense in your employer's network if you're protecting your own system. Number three, make sure that you use complex passwords. It takes 400 years to break a password that contains 11 characters that are a mix of symbols, numbers, and letters. It takes two seconds to break one that contains 11 characters that are just numbers only. The hackers have very sophisticated cracking tools. Number four, register your name at as few a websites as possible. I know that seems to be counterintuitive to using the web, but when you sign up for a new one, make sure that you try not to use your email address as an ID. Think about it. A hacker has to guess your ID and your password. So why make it easier for them by using your primary email address? Pick an ID that's a mix of characters, numbers, and punctuation symbols that's easy to remember. Number five, ignore phone calls from places you do not recognize when you are not expecting any calls. Also be careful on text messages from sources that you don't recognize. Number six, talk to your IT department to keep on top of the latest attacks. You'd be surprised at the number and complexity is of attacks as they fend off regularly. Remember, cybersecurity is not just an IT problem. It's everyone's problem. Cyber safety is everyone's responsibility. Thank you.